The almighty 10,000 steps. Will it really get you shredded? Dating back to 1964 Tokyo Olympics, this arbitrary number of 10,000 steps has been glorified as the perfect quantifiable metric when it comes to maintaining health, longevity, and optimal body composition. But did you know that this number was first provided by a Japanese pedometer company seeking to capitalize on the buzz of the Olympics? Suspicious, right? Think of it as a doctor breaking your leg and offering up a wheelchair at your expense. Okay, maybe that's a little bit dramatic. If you're looking to lose weight, we simply can't ignore the law of thermodynamics. When it comes to the almighty 10,000 steps, we're looking at output, calories burned, and there's a few variables that will affect the efficacy of your cardio. 1. How fast are you walking or running? 2. How long are your strides? 3. What is the terrain you're trekking? Incline, flat, or decline? For consistency purposes, setting quantifiable targets and goals, such as 10,000 steps, has proven to be extremely helpful, but aiming for an arbitrary number with so many differentiating variables may put you at risk for persistent metabolic adaptations and may not be sustainable or worth the stress. Find the cardio form that allows you to consistently progress without hindering other calorie burning